from the airships seeming far more advanced and capable than we've been told, yet erased with one disaster in the Hindenburg, perhaps one of the first false flags. And the railroads that weren't built by us, but rather rediscovered by us, repurposed and reused like so much of the technology from our hidden past. Video conferencing and video phones were a thing long before our cell phones of today came along. The only difference is before it was for the people, now it's profit of the people. For that is the purpose of why so much of this technology you see from the past is kept hidden from us. Until this Tartarian technology can be repurposed and reused for a profit. When you see horseless carriages from almost 200 years ago, you must ask yourself, are we truly the most advanced civilization that has ever walked this realm? Or more correctly, are we just merely the inheritors of this realm? And what was told to us by our controllers of the realm, these pneumatic air-powered tunnels that could transport humans, cargo, trams, and so much more, was just a small concept that failed. But yet the evidence is quite clear. These were no mere concept. The tunnels were buried and rediscovered after the reset. They could not find a way to repurpose this technology from that time. And when you look at these little personal shelters, first I thought, were they for the rain, for the elements? But just think like Futurama. The Tartarian technology already had so much more advanced forms of transportation than even our modern times are capable of. And they're just left hidden and abandoned. after you see these pictures. They're not from a few mere decades ago. These tunnels are hundreds of years old. I would not be surprised if they spanned across the country, perhaps across this realm. Again, as said, this was far more than just some concept art. This was a very active and live system up until the last reset in the fall of the Tartarian Empire. Shifting from the beautiful ways our hidden past traveled, 
Look at just the beautiful and intricate craftsmanship and everything we see come out of the past. Built with far more beauty and precision than anything we see in modern times. And the armor, I too feel served much more than just a primitive purpose. Much like the Faraday cage, capable of harnessing electricity from the ether above. Many of these suits of armor served an electric purpose. In some modern examples here, you can see when the body is properly grounded with chain mail, you can harness the power of the electricity around you. Now imagine that in a suit of armor from our hidden past. These were not some medieval knights that rode primitive lands. These were the knights of the Dartarian Empire, the electrified knights of the past. I would challenge anyone from the modern age to make a set of armor with such precision and such detail in every joint. And a technology, electricity, not just used for arms and armaments but for beauty and illumination. Illumination far too early from the concept of the modern light bulb and electricity. For this was a past far more advanced than us in many ways. Question everything, friends. Like, comment, and share. Let me know what you think. See you next time.